Hey, 653, welcome back uh, to CTV Morning Live. I want to welcome uh, filmmaker David York to the program. How are you? Good, how are you? Welcome back to Ottawa. Thank you. You, uh, you spent some time here before. I did. Yeah, I came here in 79 or 80, went to Carleton University, and uh, after that stayed on. I worked for the Great Canadian Theatre Company, played rugby here. Yeah. People would uh, uh, know a great many of your documentaries that you've worked on over the years, including uh, Air India 182, right? Uh, 90 Days in Hollywood, your executive producer. You've got a bunch of, of credits in the documentary sort of field. Your latest effort is called Weibo's War. Is this one of the most interesting cases, most interesting stories that you've worked on? Well, you know, he's, he's one of the most fascinating people in Canada. Yeah. We're talking about uh, Reverend uh, Weibo Ludwig and um, his group. What is it? A clan? Is it a... What is it? Uh, it's an extended family. Um, there were members of three families that originally went up to settle in the Grand Prairie area back in the mid-80s. Mm -hmm. um, so there's uh, Weibo Ludwig and his wife Mamie, and then there's five married couples and 38 and counting grandchildren. A clan, as it were. Yeah. Is it a religious sect? Uh, well, they are, uh, they are um, fundamentally religious in that everything they do, say, and think is derived from their religious beliefs, which are Christian reforms, which is kind of hardcore Lutheran. Yeah. All that aside, some interesting things have happened with that group over time, and uh, not the least of which is uh, their fight with the establishment, uh, we'll, we'll call it, right, over, over uh, gas, over various things in, in that have affected their community. Yeah, and you're right to call it the establishment. I mean, uh, you know, I, we all know that oil and gas is uh, an all-powerful force in the mm -hmm. uh, province of Alberta. Their fight started um, in 1990 when they um, learned uh, to their dismay that they only owned the top six inches of their land. They didn't own any subsurface rights at all, mm -hmm. and that those rights could be bought and sold by the government without consulting or even notifying them mm -hmm. so it all started for the Ludwigs in 1990 yeah and so people came in and started um, going well underneath uh, their their land to get uh, oil and gas mostly gas at this point right early on called sour gas which yeah. is uh, gas that's very deep uh, very toxic requires a lot of processing to get out and it started affecting the community this work yeah. these people were there were there were bad things happening to these people all of a sudden for sure you know o over the course of their lives there they had uh, five miscarriages and stillbirths uh, that were um, linked in their view to uh, sour gas leaks. They had a dozen or so mass livestock die-offs where, mm -hmm. you know, um, a third to a half of their livestock died in the spring. Yeah, yeah. So they had a long, uh, they had a long and uh, difficult history with oil and gas. Now you've had since uh, had the opportunity to explore this story and to speak with Le uh, Weibo Ludwig himself, right, over a period of a couple of years. Sure, yeah. I, I, I started going up there actually uh, in um, 2009 to uh, begin the process of getting access, which was uh, long and difficult. At first, they thought I was an undercover police officer because mm -hmm. they'd uh, been infiltrated by the police. Sure, before. they have. Yeah, yeah. And this uh, this story uh, continues today. It's it's not over yet. Well, it does. Over the course of uh, over the course of our filming, there was a uh, there was a run of pipeline bombings in the Tom's Lake area, um, and. Uh, in fact, in the middle of our shooting, um, Weaver Ludwig was, was arrested in connection with those bombings, and 200 RCMP officers went onto the farm and did a three-day search. Um, they linked him to these bombings um, indirectly in that they had a DNA sample on a warning letter that was sent to one of the oil and gas companies, mm -hmm. but in the end, there were no charges that were ever laid. Wow. Weibo's War is the name of your film. How can people get a chance to see this, David? Well, um, they can uh, show up to the Mayfair Theatre tonight, the 15th at 7 o'clock, and uh, it's playing for a four-night run. Okay, all right. It's something people, uh, people should see, I would bet, who are uh, in any way uh, interested in cases like this because it's one of the most bizarre and interesting and ongoing cases in this country. Epic Canadian story. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming by. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to Cheers. meet you. And you. Anything, what's your next project? Do you know? Uh, yes, but I'm not allowed to tell you.
Not even a hint. Weebo's War uh, playing this weekend at the Mayfair. Check it out. You want to you do that. Seriously. Uh, it's coming up on 658. Hour 2 of CTV Morning Live is coming right up. We'll be right back.